In the beautiful tropical climate of Costa Rica in Central America, butterfly farmers create an ideal environment for butterflies to reproduce, safe from predators. The caterpillars grow quickly, feasting on their favorite plants. When the caterpillars are ready to begin their transformation, they hang themselves upside down attached by a bit of spun silk. Then the caterpillar's soft skin is replaced by the tough exoskeleton of the chrysalis, which keeps the caterpillar safe while it transforms into a butterfly and grows its wings. Staff at the butterfly farm gather some of the chrysalides and carefully pack them in layers of cotton. Then the boxes are shipped around the world. This one is shipped to Seattle, a much colder environment than the caterpillars were used to. Thankfully, the box is delivered to Pacific Science Center, where the butterfly house is always 80 degrees. Sarah, the life science manager, unpacks the box and inspects the chrysalides. Depending on the species, the chrysalides vary in color, size, and shape, some of them looking like crumpled dry leaves, others like bright green buds. As you can see, some of them are quite active. Sarah finds the bits of silk on the ends of the chrysalides and carefully pins them to a board that also lists their species and countries of origin. Each chrysalis hangs on the board until the butterfly is ready to emerge. However, the new butterflies aren't ready to fly right away. They need time to dry their wings and lose a little bit of weight first. Finally, the creatures are ready to be released into the butterfly house, which is warm, light, and full of lush green foliage, fountains, and flowers. Here, visitors can enjoy a variety of species from around the planet. New shipments of chrysalides arrive and emerge every week, delighting and inspiring young and old alike.